Oh, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So I think I would like to do a series of videos for beginners as far as PvP and what ships they're going to be. Start with your smaller ships like your Condor 2, your Atron 2, Slasher 2, Executioner 2, your fast tackle ships, and eventually we'll move into more of your cruisers and, and we'll work our way up through the list. There's like beginner builds, ships that you can take out lose and not worry about the cost of them are they going to be the optimal build no no they're not they're going to be cost efficient for someone to take out and not be afraid to lose they're going to be decently built ships that you can you can take out with your buddies or go hang out with somebody at a gate camp or or, or whatever you know what i mean either you're new to the game or you know somebody who's new to the game and you're not really sure you know how to tell them a cheat build that they can go have fun with, or you're not sure, hey, you want to go out and you want to fly around with your friends, but you just finished building out your stabber fleet that you use to run missions and you don't lose it. So I'm going to start with the, the fast tackles um, and we'll work up from there. But for the purpose of this video, what I'm going to show you right here is going to be applicable to your Condor 2, your Slasher 2, your Atron 2, and your Executioner 2. Obviously, your weapon system is going to change. Get it. You get it. We all get it. But, um, and this and this one's really cheap, right? So, you can run your Gallows small missile launchers. These are 40k each. So, 80k for the two missile launchers, right? Your Interruptive Warp Disruptor. Now, what used to be 26 mil is is sub one mil now they, they run for less than a mil don't know why they're running for less than a mil they're still really good um that's kind of kind of shocking to me at the moment but um they're they're still pretty good to have you get two points in a 26 km range it's, it's great i get it they've gone down because of the warp scrams the warp scrams are really good to have and really good to use in but these have the the benefit of range on them they they're 13 km roughly more than your i think warp scrams 10 to 12. either way they're still really good to use right so your warp your interruptive warp dis interruptive warp disruptor <laughs> runs for sub one mil i got this one for 950k um your there we go. Your interruptive stasis webifier, your web, right? I got this one for 650k. 13km range on it. You you point and as you're flying in, as you, you close in, you get the web, right? You're gonna be running a small micro warp, MK5 small micro warp. Sure, you don't get the benefits of a faction or whatever. You don't have the cost of them. I know they're a little bit more, but we're looking for budget. Um the total cost of this right here, um, I don't have a second, don't have a second low slot, because your second low slot can be really whatever it is that you want to run. Do you want to run a shield extender? Go for it. Shield booster? Wouldn't recommend. Just because if you're the fast tackle, you want to pop the shield extender, right? Wait for your friends to show up, and then you want to dip out, right? You want to warp off to a planet. You want to warp off to the sun. You want to. Well, I wouldn't suggest a gate. Depends on where you're at and what you're doing. Get used to warping to planets, right? Either planets or the sun. Warp to stations, don't warp to gates. You want to warp to planets or the sun. You want to get you drive that one home, right? So your low slot can be a shield extender. Your low slot can be a damage control, damage boost if you want. It can be whatever it is that you want it to be. It really doesn't matter for that. Rigs, I don't have any. You don't need them. Not for this if you really want to put rigs in there you can but this build right here I, I i really wouldn't recommend i don't want to recommend not to put them on but for the sake of saving some money you can put them on um putting on a, a warhead calif calif cali cali whatever it is right the damage boost <laughs> and putting on the damage boost rig on this you're not going to get that much of a gain out of it really not your job is to tackle someone 
hold them while everybody else shows up. Right. So I really wouldn't too, wouldn't worry too much about the rigs. Um, it's just not worth it. I don't. I really don't think it's worth it. If you want to put a a shield bonus rig on here, um, yes, go for it. It just depends on how much you're wanting to spend. But this is, I feel, this is a pretty cost effective build to go out and have fun. Right. If you want to go out with four of your four of your friends, three or four of your friends, and you're all brand new to the game and you're all running this build right here. Depending on what you're fighting, and if you know what you're fighting, you may or may not win. If you're if you warp up to a stabber fleet, have fun. <laughs> have fun. But that's what it's all about, right? I want to get rid of this. Okay, so the goal for this series is to get rid of people's need to feel like they have to be in a faction ship to PvP. You don't. Are they fun? Hell yeah. I love my Dramiel, right? But you don't have to be in one. Can you can you go 1v1 a succubus and a condor too? No, you can't. But you're also not putting, you know, anywhere from one to one and a half bill. Give or take the mods on the line right now. You're putting three mil on the line. So no, you can't go 1v1 a succubus or a Dramiel or you know you're not going to but it's three mil you can go you know what i mean like you and your buddies can go put five of these together and fly around in a knobs and go tackle that cyclone that's that's trying to slowly solo something you know because they nerfed the cyclone into the ground thanks nutties but um this is this is super cheap it's super fun you can have a lot of fun with it Give it a go. It's three mil. Build it. Go fly it around. Go fight something. Go die to something. Just go. Go do it. Go do it. Go build one right now. Go fly around. Go fight something and go die to something. Have fun. And um, for those of you that actually are new, welcome to Echoes. If you like the video, you know what I mean? Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Gotta keep saying it because yeah, yeah. All right, y'all. Thank you very much. Have a good afternoon, good evening, good morning, whatever it is. Take care, and I'll see you on the next video.